A popular story springs up about Saint Anthony of Padua, mention of it is made in the official butler's lives of the saints. It is the story of Saint Anthony's encounter with a Jewish man. This man contested the real presence of the Eucharist, so one day he approached Saint Anthony publicly and after spelling out all of his reasons for not believing in such a fable as the real presence, he challenged Anthony to a contest. He bet that the real presence was a lie, and he proposed to starve a donkey for three days, with no hay, and to see if the donkey would choose to eat the hay or if it preferred the Eucharist. Saint Anthony, being publicly put on the spot accepted the challenge. So the wealthy merchant brought out his donkey, publicly hitched him to a post where he could be observed by all, and proceeded to starve the donkey for three days. Simultaneously, Saint Anthony went into the forest and fasted for three days, taking no food. When the day of trial came, Anthony emerged from the forest and sought out a local church where he took the Eucharist and returned to the spot where the donkey was tied. Meanwhile, the challenger had placed a large pile of hay about twenty feet away from the donkey. Anthony took out the Eucharist holding it in his hands, the merchant untied the donkey, who needless to say, made a beeline for the pile of hay. Just as the donkey was about to reach the hay, Saint Anthony elevated the Eucharist and shouted in a loud voice, Mule, in the name of the Lord our God, I command you to come here and adore your Creator. The donkey reared up on his hind legs as if someone had pulled him by a bridle, he spun around, and ran to Saint Anthony, dropping to his forelegs hind legs still extended, and put his head down to the ground, in a posture of adoration before the Eucharist which Saint Anthony continued to hold elevated. The Jewish merchant, stunned by what occurred begged Saint Anthony's forgiveness, converted on the spot, and donated the money to build a new Catholic church, his newfound faith. On the cornerstone of the church, he had engraved a picture of Saint Anthony holding the Eucharist aloft and the donkey, kneeling on his forepaws in adoration of the body of Christ. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us.